everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro will be seen and heard in just moments. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we get to see the top team in the Western Conference. It's impressive how they've got. Well, you see how deep the Western Conference is, Doc, and to be sitting on top of everybody else, that's pretty impressive stuff, but they know they cannot lay off the gas pedal at all here with teams chasing them in the Western Conference. Colorado's consistency is what separates them from everybody else. They find ways to get points even when they don't play their best hockey. That's a sign of experience and a team that is very well coached. Let's look at the starting netminders. Semyon Varlamov, a world traveler, has played for the Hershey Bears, the Washington Capitals, Colorado Avalanche, overseas, a part of the rejuvenation of the Avs, and represented his native Russia in the Olympics. Grice has gotten the call and goal, trusting he'll stoke some of yesterday's fire tonight for the Islanders. We are nearing faceoff, and John Tavares is on the ice. Dangerous score and an even better playmaker for his team. This game is in Colorado, and it has started. Colorado's defied the odds, Doc, by putting together a win streak like this. It's hard to get a single win in this league, let alone a streak like this. Oh, and he missed the net. Gathered up again by Landeskog. Looking for options, and on to Barry. Still no shot. Oh, and blocked away. Gains the blue line. Back near the blue line to Hamannick. And it's a good pickup. Pitching it to Ladd. That puck's loose, defended away by Johnson. Got a piece of that one. New York's in their own end and controlling play now. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Try to clear the puck. The Islanders have gotten to center ice. Looking to Ladd. And he steps across the line. Pointed to Seidenberg. A shot. Just missed the net with that one. To Boschman. Passing one off now to Landeskog. Laid on to Polak. Knocked right off the stick. And the puck gathered in by Gabriel Landeskog. Collected by Ladd. Pitching this one to Tavares. Carries it to the corner. Just threw it into his pad there. Put his pads together and got the whistle. Colorado's confidence is at a sky-high level. Anything they need to do over the last 10 games, they've been able to find it. They need a big goal, they get it. They need a big save. A cover, and play is stopped. You can't ask much more from your goaltender than this. That's an excellent wrist shot that he's able to deny. Just over six minutes remaining in the first. We are deadlocked at zero. Big face-off win. Directing that one to Landeskog. Up the wing, he still has possession and moves ahead. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Propelled to save. To Polak. Good place to, no time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Still no shot, and he gets it back. Hatchets one. Wonderful save. Waits with it. Pulls his way along. Shot misses the net. Back at the point now. On to Ladd. It's an onside play. Carried to the corner, but terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. 
Can he send it out? First period is in the books. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. All right, let's take a look at the shots on goal in that first period of play. Nine for the Islanders and eight for the Avalanche. Varlamov's enormous save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period, and he gets a rest. And so do we as we head to break. One period played. A second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? I know we don't have a goal in this game yet, Doc, but you got to give the goaltender some credit. There were some quality chances on both sides, especially some of the second and third chance opportunities. And that's an offside. And the faceoff's won. New York's carrying it through center. Chip to Tavares. Turned aside off the pad. Moving it to Polak. Good poke check by Landeskog. Pass attempt to Duchesne. Has it back deep. The Islanders have control of the puck at center ice. Slid to Ladd. Laid on. Deflected off the blocker. Solid work there by Letty. Slides it to the point to Hamannick. Looking for options. With a shot. Wide of the net. Dominance right now. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. The Avs with a clean win on the draw. Colorado's on the move in neutral ice. Muscled long to Boschman. To Polak. Looking for a better lane. Shoots one. That hits somebody. Puck loose. Couldn't get through. Whoa, what a play. Gains the zone and looks over his options. That one blocked. Oh, and what a tremendous job of keeping the puck alive. Carried out of his own end towards center ice. Great shooting position. Just couldn't find the target. You have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. Snaps it on goal. He scores! Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Colorado's goal has given them a two-goal lead now, and there's still a lot of time left in the game. We're still in the second period. Just over five minutes left to go here in the second. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. The Islanders from the neutral zone start to work. Moved along and in. Oh, what a save. Propelled to Tavares. Nice work by Weirkoch. Got a free puck now. Snapping a pass to Duchesne. On to Landeskog. Big drive. Hammered. Blocked with the pad. And he gains the zone. Hand-eye coordination beats that pass again. Gets in, looks over his options here. Chip to Duchesne. Fires! That shot hit a man. Lads carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. Drill! Got the iron with the shot. Pat save! One minute left. In the second period. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. 
As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 22 for the Islanders and 17 for Colorado. Landeskog's goal took it from a one-goal game to a two-goal advantage. Intermission is next. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? New York's down, Doc, after two periods of play. It's going to be really difficult for them to get back in this game if they don't clean up their turnover. Into the end of attack. Looks from the corner. To pull off. A ripper from the point. Snaps a shot. Lightning in that glove. What a shot. Score. Three in a row. front of the net here he scores on the backhand Royce drops to his butterfly as soon as the shooter commits to the shot but he's not in good enough position as he gets beat cleanly Colorado's goal has staked them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going third period of play and they take that neutral zone face off and the puck taken hold of by Ladd Gabs control the play at center. Time of the goal. 30 Fires. Seconds. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Polak's had an outstanding season. Every time it seems he gets a chance to score, he's able to finish it. And that's all with being the focus of the other team. Good faceoff win. Shoots it on. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. And snap to Hamannick. Pad save. Ooh, hard one there. Colorado's lugging it up the wing. Off his pad. He covers, and a faceoff will follow. Rice relies on his position to make this unbelievable stop. Just over six minutes have passed. Third period. Colorado's offense. Another celebration just moments ago. Their lead is three. Good job with the stick. The puck now possessed by Gabriel Landeskog. Gave him a good shot, but a great pad answer there. At the front of the net. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. The goalie makes himself look big. Moves to the corner. Good work with the stick. Great shooting lane. What a reaction save. And a whistle. The Islanders shifting gears back in their own end. Puck is thrown to Letty. And now it's directed to Kuhleman. Great job on a cut pass. The Avs leave their own end. Pressing on with it through the neutral zone. Into the attacking end. Got it all. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. And he'll cover. The Avs are fortunate to have him on their roster. He has among the highest point totals in the league. He's dangerous both with and without the puck. It's without the puck where he creates room for himself and becomes a dangerous offensive player. Shot glanced off the post. To DeHaan. Trying to go to Stroll. He gains the zone. Great save. Look at how active the goaltender is looking around the screen to try to make the stop. Brings a shot. Big point blank save there. Shot. A terrific scoring chance denied. To the front. Incredible save. 
Great pressure. Hands over to Boschman. Hangs on to it. Say, a shot. Oh, he got in the way of that one. It's blocked. Down to the corner. Chips it back. Sends it back the other way. Block. Pitching it to Lee. Puck passed across. Slid to Lee. Let's it go. They can't find the target. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you've got to hit the net in this situation. They won that faceoff. Can they clear it? Laid on to Johnson. Approaching the final minute in this game. Propel to Landeskog. Marvelous save by Grice. Grice loves to be in these situations, and you can tell why with that outstanding save. Back near the blue line to Barry. The Islanders are moving the puck in neutral ice. Offside stops the clock. to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win, and the streak continues. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.